Do you know the three numbers that determine how much home you can afford? When it comes to getting a lender's approval to buy or refinance a home, there's honestly three numbers that matter the most. First is your credit score, which is your overall debt profile. Number two, the loan to value ratio, which is the down payment. And number three, it's that debt to income ratio, which is your income divided by 12 months, which creates your gross monthly income. Once you decide how much of your monthly income you want to allocate towards debt, we can determine your monthly mortgage payment and your purchase price. These numbers affect the ability to qualify for a mortgage and how much it's gonna ultimately cost you. So here's a rundown of what they are and why they matter. I'm gonna show you how to get pre-approved for a mortgage in three quick minutes. So come on with me. Now let's start with credit scores. A big question from clients is why credit scores matter when getting a mortgage. So bottom line, your credit score is a three digit number that measures your borrowing history. There's three main credit bureaus that each calculate their own credit score for you based on your payment history, how much debt do you have, your credit card limit usage, etc. So why it matters is your credit score helps mortgage lenders evaluate your likelihood, basically of paying back the loan. It's very simple. The higher your credit score, the better the mortgage credit terms you're gonna be offered. Quite simply, the higher your credit score saves you money. Technically, you can get a loan with a credit score as low as 620 or even lower, but you're gonna have a ton of hurdles to jump over during the mortgage approval process and quite honestly limiting what kind of loans you can get. So here's a chart of how credit scores rank today. If you're buying a house or refinancing in the next few months, begin on boosting your credit scores up now so that you can reap the benefit. This little tip honestly has saved thousands of dollars for our clients each and every year. We do what we call a credit report audit with each and every client that we have to make sure that we can get them into that good or excellent credit score range. How much money do I need to buy a house? Now that is the down payment, but don't forget those closing costs. Here at Freel Good Mortgage, we use an exercise with clients called the oh shit number. So imagine you're under contract on a home and the purchase price is a little bit higher than you're comfortable with. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you're stressed out. Oh my gosh, it's brutal, right? So write that number down. So let's say it's 500,000. We're gonna come back to that number here in a second, but that is the loan to value ratio and this is the way to measure how much equity you have in your home or a way to determine the loan to value for the mortgage transaction. And here's why it matters, okay? So for a home purchase, loan programs have minimum down payment requirements. Your exact down payment depends on things like whether you're a first time home buyer, is this your primary residence, second home, or maybe an investment property. Other factors like property type and unit count require more money down. Primary residence transactions, you can see conventional loans, you can get 5% down, although first time home buyers can put as little as 3% down. An FHA loan for three and a half, VA and USDA loans require zero down. Then there's jumbo loans that require three and a half to 50% depending on how much you wanna borrow. Now, each one of these loan products have their perks, benefits, and their drawbacks as well, of course. So if you buy a second home, you're gonna need 10% down. And for you investors out there, you'll have to put more money down for the loan to value ratio. Keep in mind the key takeaway with down payment usually is the more money that you have available gives you more leeway when it comes to figuring out your eligibility for loan programs. So back to our example, let's say I'll do a primary residence conventional loan and 10% down. Here's a couple questions for you. How much is the down payment if we're doing that $500,000 purchase price? And then if we do 10% down, what is our loan to value ratio percentages? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Love to hear what you find out. We do this with all our clients. We call it knowledge check as we start to, you know, get your loan parameters squared away so that we're all on the same page. Have you figured it out yet? Okay, so that is $50,000 down. That is just for the loan to value ratio, or excuse me, the loan to value 10%. The loan to value ratio would be a 90% LTV loan. Quick recap, here it goes. We've talked about credit, your down payment, and now the debt to income ratio. So DTI is a percentage that helps lenders understand how much you can afford to pay for a mortgage each month, giving, given your existing monthly debt payments. 
So lenders are gonna add up all those payments and what your housing payment is gonna be on this new home and divide that by your gross monthly income, which is how much money you earn before all your taxes and expenses are taken out. Why does this matter? Because it helps your lender determine what your ability to repay the loan is, right? They want their money back over time. So in fact, a high debt to income ratio is the number one reason mortgage applications, they get rejected or denied. So most lenders, they're typically gonna offer creditworthy borrowers, DTIs as high as about 45%. Here at Free Good Mortgage, however, we have lending partners that do offer loans up to 50% or higher if you're very, very credit worthy. So remember that credit score, right? The higher the better. But I don't like to max my client's budget out just on debt. So keep in mind, the lower your DTI, the easier it is to qualify for a mortgage. So check out the description uh, for the links for an instant pre-qualification certificate and access free access to all of our mortgage calculators. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a property, we have all the information just one click away, a library of educational videos filled with information that make you incredibly savvy inside the game of real estate and mortgage. We welcome your partnership. We look forward to working together. And remember, behind everything that operates efficiently, there's a code we're that code. All right, all right, all right. The time is now to snoop around the channel and get that brain growing. Watch one of these videos right now here or here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell and like this video so we can see each other on that regular basis. Check out our free loan qualification certificate so you can find out how much mortgage you can qualify for and scope out our free mortgage calculators. Stay sweet.